Welcome to Gazillionaire, the business simulation game. Gazillionaire is popular with middle schools, high schools, and colleges all over the world. It's used in social studies classes, math classes, business classes, economics courses, and entrepreneurship programs. Let me introduce you to the game. Students can play either by themselves in single player mode or in multiplayer mode with up to five other students. In Gazillionaire, we took the time to create a rich world because it is known that if students engage in the world and engage in the interactivity, they retain what they learn much better and they have a deeper understanding of the underlying principles. In Gazillionaire, there are also six computer-controlled AI opponents. Each of these has a different business style which affects how they play. The first decision we ask the student to make when they are running their trading company is what ship to purchase. Each of the ships has different abilities which affects how it performs in the game. The next thing we ask the students to do is take out a loan to fund their business. Each of the loans comes at a, a specific interest rate that the students must pay over time. The students are also given detailed graphs and metrics about the performance of their business. The graphs cover everything from their net worth to their market strength to their competitiveness and the students can use these to analyze their business and see where they stand against the competition. This is the main console of Gazillionaire. Let me take you into the marketplace. In the marketplace, the students buy and sell various products, which they then transport to other planets and resell, hopefully at a profit. When the students are making their buying decision, it isn't just the market price that makes the difference. It's actually a combination of things, including the price, the price range, the potential profit margin on each product, and where those products are in demand. The students can find out where the products are needed by going to the supply chart. This so shows the supply and demand on every planet. There are a lot of other decisions the student needs to make when running their business. One of them is whether or not to pick up passengers and what ticket price to charge for those passengers. Another decision is how to advertise and market their business. The students can advertise for passengers, which allows them to charge more. They can also advertise for commodities, which gives them a better selection of products to purchase on one planet and sell on another. The students can also utilize their warehouse to store products on specific planets. They will also need to pay taxes on their business. Money, money, money. And students will need to buy insurance, especially when weather conditions and other elements affect the game. Students can also go in and explore the various planets. Each of the planets has different things going on. They give you weather reports. They show you news updates. And the student can visit the planet and actually make deals with the different inhabitants. In this case, to buy a faster engine for their ship. Students work, have to consider their fuel costs and where to purchase fuel. They can also invest in a stock market on all the planets in the galaxy. They can take their excess capital and put it in the bank and begin earning interest on it. They can take out additional loans if they wish to expand their business faster. In this way, Gazillionaire encompasses an entire simulation of running a business. Students are taken through it step by step and introduced to all the concepts and then they get to play with those concepts within the game environment. I encourage you to go online, play the free online demo, and then try it out in your own classroom.